Everyone has heard the story of this mysterious animal, otherwise known as a Sasquatch. The mystery that we all know of as Bigfoot. From what humans know are ape-like creatures that inhabit the forest. With footprints tracked measuring up to 24 inches. To many they are mythical, but to many they are real. In this world, I feel those massive feet of Bigfoot. I was once a Sasquatch in my lifetime. I lived a happy life as Bigfoot. I cared for every mob, every creature, but the humans drew me out as a monster. Back in those days with my companion Betty, we used to hang out in the forest, break trees, snack on bugs. Life was great for a Sasquatch. Until one fateful day, the mutant skeleton came and stole Betty from me. Bigfoot, look out! Uh, what's going on? Run, Bigfoot! I'll handle him! Uh, mom, help! I don't know what you want from us, but leave us alone, skeleton! <sighs> Oh my god, what's going on? I hope Betty's okay. Oh my god, I need to find safety. After fleeing the scene and getting to safety, I recollected my thoughts and I found out that the mutant skeleton army was holding Betty hostage. They were in the middle of the forest, guarded by the mutant skeleton himself and an army of skeletons. I had to get Betty back and save her. The skeletons want to reveal our Sasquatch identities to the world. It's your boy Switch, and this is where my hardcore adventure begins, giving myself 100 days to save Betty and beat Minecraft. Ah, so day one without Betty, I did not know what to do or how to act. I hadn't been alone for a long time. So obviously being in Bigfoot's body, it was a lot different than being in a normal body. For example, I'm three blocks tall and actually two by two blocks wide. I was super sad and very anxious because I didn't know where Betty was, but I knew I had to survive out there without her. So of course I gathered wood, I broke down some cobblestone and I got myself some tools. For all my life as Bigfoot, all I remember was being with Betty and Betty taking care of me, but now I was on my own. So the zombie was my first victim. I had to learn how to fend off mobs and I wanted to train myself so when I could take on those skeletons, I was ready. I was so clumsy as Bigfoot. My feet were so big, my body was so big that I just couldn't move properly. But day by day, as I walked and fought off mobs, I learned. I got a hang of it. But I did struggle with one thing, food. I had nothing to eat. I ate whatever I could. I had to eat the zombie flesh. But I had to make it and I had to find Betty. Yo, 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 pause, 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 guys, before we get into this video. First of all, hey, it's me, Switch. But I want to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Are you kidding me? I know a lot of you guys are watching on your phones or your iPads on the toilet. If you're not, kudos to you. You're a lot better than us. But let's talk about Raid for a bit. So what is Raid Shadow Legends if you've never heard of it? It's a game with combinations of champions where you can master and take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, and campaign battles. There's over 600 champions that have their own unique skill set, and you can build your team and develop those champions. Why should you play raid? Well, these are my top five reasons, guys. Reason one and two is you can collect a lot of new things. For example, a lot of new armors and warriors. You just get a lot of rewards. Number three, the progression just feels really good. You're always progressing forward every day. You're not stuck on one point. Number four, everything just looks great. Like it just looks visually pleasing. And number five, it's a mobile game. You can literally play it wherever you want. The game has actually recently been updated with the Doom Tower update, which added two new bosses to take on. It also adds a special event called Super Raids, which doubles your rewards and it speeds up your progress, which is great for new players. So what are you guys waiting for? Check out the link in the description and it'll also be in the comment section down below. Raid has given you guys, the viewers, a special head start. So all you gotta do, hit the link in the description. It'll give you one free epic champion, some silver, and all types of stuff that will help you along your journey. And I do have to mention, it only runs for 30 days as soon as this video goes up. So go cash out. And once you click on the link in the description and you redeem your reward, once you get into Raid Shadow Legends here, it'll be on the top right. There's a chest right there and you can redeem your reward. But guys, that's enough of my face and Raid Shadow Legends. Thanks again for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into the adventure. Betty and I had a rule when we stayed together. It was to stay in the forest and not be seen. But because she wasn't around, I had to be curious and I had to fend for myself. So I had to break that rule. While I was climbing up the mountain, I noticed there was a light source on top. So of course, curious Bigfoot, he went up there and went to go check it out. Looked like there was a cabin on top of the mountain, but I didn't want to be too excited. I wanted to make sure my surrounding was safe before I went in. I looked around to see if there was any humans or any type of threat that could hurt me. After looking around, everything looked clear and looked like I was by myself. Looks like someone had left this cabin behind, so the coast was clear. I went in and I looted the chest. I found a fishing rod in there called the trusty rod and it had a few other things in there that I could maybe use. So of course, I broke myself into the cabin. I mean, it was a really small cabin. I am Bigfoot, so I had to squeeze in there. I was kind of claustrophobic, but this would do for shelter for tonight. Whoever was in this cabin here at last left a lot of good things. A fishing rod, an iron machete, 
a recurve bow, and some arrows. So then I just waited the rest of the night inside the cabin, and I was very squished in there. But you know, what can I do? I'm Bigfoot. But don't worry, guys. After I stole all that stuff, I left some notes behind saying thanks for the stuff from Bigfoot. I'm not real, though. I'm fake Bigfoot because I can't reveal my identity. So of course, I said, this is not the real Bigfoot. I had to try out this new recurve bow I found, and I tried it on this creeper. My aim was looking good, guys. While I was leaving the mountain in the morning, everything just looked so beautiful. I've never seen my home from this perspective. I've always just been inside the forest. All right, Bigfoot. Get it together. It's time for you to be a man and save Betty. We must find her. I hope she's okay. She's the reason I got away. But Betty is really strong. She's been taking care of me since I was a little kid. I must be strong and find her. I gotta help her out. Whoa, whoa. What is this thing? Hey, you're a wolf, aren't you? Are you alone out here too? Because I am. Do you want to join me on my adventure? I could use a pal. Here, take these bones. I have a lot. Best friends forever? Nice. Oh my god. Now I won't be so lonely on this adventure. Thank you. I'm gonna call you Nacho. That sucks that you're out here by yourself, but we got each other now, so let's go. I'll give you the whole rundown in the story later, but for now, we gotta keep moving and go save Betty. Come on. Here, have this bone. You don't want it? No problem. Things were really looking up for me. I was really sad without Betty, but now I found myself a new pal. Somebody to accompany me along my adventure. Nacho was a really good boy. And I knew he was going to take care of me, and I promised him I'd take care of him. Now that I had a friend, the world just looks so beautiful around me. I don't know, just taking it all in, the snow, the forest, the mountains, it was all so beautiful. My mind was finally getting clear. I remember, Betty and I used to eat fish all the time, and luckily, I found that fishing rod up in the cabin. So, I punched some holes into the ice, and I started fishing. Cooked fish was my favorite. Although I know fishing is supposed to be a really relaxing activity, I also had to watch my back at all times, just in case those skeletons came for me. I know Nacho was on lookout as well, but I decided if I climbed up in the tree, I could still fish from up there and I'd be a lot safer. So that's what I did, guys. I fished the whole night. I was up in that tree for a long time, guys. I don't even know how that tree supported me. I'm pretty heavy for Bigfoot. But I cooked myself a lot of fish and I was ready to go on my adventure. It was really nice to eat fish. It reminded me a lot of Betty. I continued adventuring around and I saw this really weird creature. But of course, I had to get some iron so I get some better tools and armor. But look around me. The world is so beautiful in this terrain. I then followed around this weird thing with diamonds on its back. It ended up going into the ground, but it was so weird. Come here, buddy. Whoa, did you just go into the ground? I continued exploring the world and just climbing up mountains. It felt really nice to be free as Bigfoot. But then all of a sudden, I ran into a pile of bones. Oh, uh, why are there just... Why are there a bunch of bones here? Is this from the skeleton army? Why... Am I... This trail is leading this way. I gotta follow this. What is this? Wait, what? Is that an axe? What are these bones things? A bone axe? A caveman bone knife? This is so weird. There's still one more bone here. The trail ends here. Huh. Betty must be around. After trying to pick up a trail and just see what was going on, I decided to find a hole in the wall. The skeletons had to be nearby. I had to protect myself and Nacho. At night, I had a better inspection of the tools. This had to belong to the skeleton army. With signs of the skeleton army around me, it was time for me to make a Bigfoot worthy base. I had so much fun building the base, I couldn't wait to show Betty once I saved her. I knew she was around. There was evidence the skeleton army was still in this area. Bigfoot! Wait, wait. Betty, is that you? Can you hear me? It's me, Betty. If you can hear me, I'm still alive. And I'm near you. What? What's going on? Don't you shoot those arrows at me, skeleton king. Oh my god. Betty's with the skeleton king. Betty, I'm coming. Where are you? Bigfoot, come for me. Betty, hold on tight. I'm going to save you. Oh, I don't know where she is. Her voice was echoing down the valley. Oh, it's getting dark. I gotta get back. But I know she's around here. I couldn't believe it. Betty was still out there and she was okay. She was just being held captive. After that scare that night, I went directly into the caves and I began looking for some iron. I needed armor so I could take on the skeleton army. I spent the next few days in the caves selecting iron and killing mobs. I needed to prepare my combat skills. 
I had to mine quick and get exactly what I needed because every minute I was away from Betty, the more dangerous it got for her. When I got back up from the caves, I smelted all the iron and made some armor. And I also made these clubs. I made a stone one and a wood one. This poor skeleton here got to experience how strong it was. I was now ready to go save Betty. But where was she? When nightfall came, Nacho and I, we set off for an adventure. I tried to locate where the voice was coming from. And there was a lot of skeletons in this specific area. Then I ran into this, a whole entire mob of skeletons, at least seven of them. I had to be really close to the skeleton army. They had to be guarding something. This was my perfect time to practice my bow shots. I just had a feeling Betty had to be nearby. After I cleared all the skeletons, I went in and finished this guy with my machete. As soon as I got a little closer, there it was. Was that a jail cell? What was going on? I think I saw Betty behind those iron bars. I recognized that skeleton. It was the skeleton that ruined that perfect day for us. The one that took Betty. It was surrounded by skeletons. I had to play this out smart. As bad as I wanted Betty back, I scouted from the top of the mountain. I had to play this very safely. I dug myself a spot in the mountain where I could scout and make sure that she was okay. But I had to plan a day to attack. It killed me that I could just see Betty, but I couldn't help her yet. All right, Nacho, I know you haven't met Betty yet, but she's my best friend. And I'm sure that you'll like her too. Here, take this. Ah, if you don't want it, I'll use it. The longer I waited, the more dangerous it would be for Betty. The next day, I waited for it to get darker. I needed to hide behind the branches. I could not be seen. I was able to peek in behind these leaves. There was a lot of skeletons, and I even saw the skeleton king. They were definitely keeping Betty behind those bars captive. I had to be really sneaky, because any misstep, they would have found me. I had to wait for the perfect opportunity. I scouted around for a while. Everything looked really clear. It was just little skeletons. I could not see the boss, so I charged in. Betty, it's me, Bigfoot. I'm coming. Hold on tight. Oh my god, Bigfoot, is that you? Get me out of here. I can't believe I found you. I'm going to save you. Trust me. Watch out. The skeleton's behind you. I was panicking. The best thing I could do was break her out of there so she could help me fight these skeletons. I can't believe it. I broke her out. Nacho was already attacking all the skeletons, but Betty showed me exactly why she was so strong. Take that, skeleton. How dare you keep me locked up in a cage? I'd grown so much since I last saw Betty, but she was an absolute beast. I used all my new weapons that I'd got, and Nacho was absolutely killing it. He was a fierce dog. I picked the perfect time to attack. I hadn't seen the king skeleton yet. For some reason, the zombies were on the skeleton's side. It made it a lot harder, but our team was super strong. The iron machete did so much damage, and our boy Nacho, oh my goodness. Bigfoot, how are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just watch your back. As night grew upon us, we were slowly taking away the numbers of the skeleton army. But something felt really weird. We had taken out the majority of the skeletons, but there was just random zombies left. You're okay, right, Betty? Bigfoot, look out! It's the king skeleton! Oh! Whoa! The king skeleton was insane. He had a lot of good skills that he used on us. But I could see Betty had a lot of vengeance in her. She charged him with full speed. I decided to take it from a distance, shoot a few shots at it. But he got me really low. Betty did not care. She went all the way and tried to take him out herself. I charged up my bow and I fired the last shot. And boom, I saw his skeleton fall right in front of us. I was even able to pick up his bones. It felt really good. Yeah, that's right, skeleton. That's what you get. Now leave us alone. Bigfoot, they have a self-destruct button. I'll show you. Press this, and the TNT will explode. You don't have to tell me twice. Bombs away! Yeah, that self-destruct button left everything broken around that cage. Well, they deserved it because they kept Betty behind bars there. There was not much of that area left, let me tell you guys. There was no more skeletons around, so the coast was clear. I finally introduced my best friend Nacho to my other best friend Betty. It seems like they got along very well. I even saw some hearts come from Nacho. The skeletons left a chest around with some cool weapons in it and some arrows. Betty, I thought I'd never see you again. Thank you so much for defending me back there. I thought I'd never see you again. Of course, anytime. But we should really get out of here because I still don't know what they want. So that's what we did. We ran for it. We didn't know who was coming, if there was reinforcements coming at all. But we just ran into the forest and wanted to get away from all of it. We figured our best bet would be to go to the mountains as high as we can so we can see everything. But just when we thought we'd get away from all of it, then I saw, saw another it. king skeleton. Betty was leading, but she didn't see him. So I fired my bow at him. The king skeleton aggroed me instantly. I brought out the new weapon and it knocked me off the mountain. It knocked me pretty far back, actually. But no worries. Betty was mad and she took care of business. She had taken it out. We were running for it. We wanted to make a break for the top of the mountain peak. But there was another skeleton king. They were sending more reinforcements after us. 
We had to act quick. We didn't know how many more there were. There was two hiding behind these trees. Betty took one out, and the other one fired his arrows at me. I was getting extremely low. I did not want to die in this hardcore world and leave Betty by herself. So I helped her kill the last one. I even used his own tools against him. It actually seemed really strong against it. Got a few more hits in, and boom! I'd taken it out. After we took it out, we headed for the top of the mountain. I could see the peak. We were so close. Things were already starting to look up. There was a pair of two cute foxes. These foxes are so cute. Things looked a lot more peaceful and safe on this side of the mountain. But I made sure I got to the peak just so I could see everything. Wow, this view is beautiful. But now what's the plan, Bigfoot? We still didn't know why the skeletons came to this very day. But the thing is, I did not want to risk our lives once again. Now that I had Nacho in my life and I had Betty back, I was not going to take that risk. So what we decided to do was dig into the mountain and whenever we needed to leave, we'd be super careful. But this is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun making it. If you guys liked it, make sure you smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you smash that sub button. And if you're watching up to this point, comment down in the comment section below, Bigfoot Gang. We are so close to 200k. Thank you so much for watching today's video and let's hear it from Betty. Thank you so much for watching the video. Peace.